Oh, oh my god, god, ooh la la. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Look at all these churns running across the street. Run, baby, run. I'm afraid to go. I don't want any of these kids to run out in front of me. Please don't run out in front of me. Okay, thank you. I do not need to be charged with homicide today. Woo! Oh, come on over. Dodging Atlanta traffic and protesters is a, a chore all in itself. Each diamond for its superior Hi. PBS 46 is currently interviewing somebody, and the police are up here. So, I'm actually home now. I actually just got in the door. I'm about to upload all my videos and pictures to my computer. Facebook, and actually my computer was on this thing. I had posted a status and I said, I'm going hunty for, hunting for Shirley Phelps Ripper armed with a camera and a GPS. See you there. And, you know, it was a very interesting experience. But the whole protest, it was very civil, uh, very peaceful. There wasn't any, like, really rude shouting back and forth. Everybody there was happy. They were holding up signs for running love and tolerance and stuff like that. The only real incident was this woman came down with a motorcycle. and She was, like, shooting them all a bird. But everybody was cheering her on, too. They loved it. Atlanta police were there. There were paddy wagons showing up. The Red Dog unit was there. They're the ones who raided the Eagle. And I don't know. I started thinking about this on the way home. I was like, I don't know if they were there with their paddy wagons just to intimidate people because their butt hurt that they got in so much trouble for their homophobia and their raid on the Eagle. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. But they were there in full force. And um, you see, I was there with a friend of, uh, of Actually, people were coming up to me and my friend that I was with and um, they wanted an explanation because they had never seen the Whisperer Baptist Church before. They were just dumbfounded to be walking down the street and see these people holding up signs that say God hates fags and God hates Jews and stuff like that. And they were just like, what? What is this? What's going on here? And we had to explain it to them and they were still just like, well, thank you for explaining this to me. I had no idea that such hatred existed in our world. And um, unfortunately, I do. I've experienced it firsthand. Uh, not just with the Westboro Baptist Church, but generalized homophobia. And um, it's something that happens. So it's, uh, and I've been monitoring these people for years. But it was a very uh, pleasant experience. I'm glad that I got to see them. I'm glad I got to get all this footage to share with all my online friends. And, um, you know, long story short, hate is wrong, and love is stronger than hate. Always remember that.